Good morning, good morrow and hello all together. Today I am a little bit excited because this is my first video in English and I do have some other videos but they are all in German. So far. Okay, here I have a nameplate of an electric motor. And today's question is whether or not we can apply star delta starting to this motor. In a first step we are going to analyze what the information in the nameplate means. More exactly, what are the nominal conditions for this specific motor? Let's have a look together. What are the nominal conditions for star connection? Do you find them? I give you a second to consider. Which of the numbers belong to star connection? The right answer it's those two here. 400 volts and 28 amperes. These two belong to star connection. Let me quickly write that down for you. So this part of the nameplate says the nominal face-to-face -face voltage is 400 volts. In other words, when connected to 400 volts in star connection, the motor runs at nominal conditions. Now what does that mean for the voltage at each of the coils of the motor? which I will call the coil voltage. In one of my previous videos I have already explained the factor square root of 3 and where it comes from. Unfortunately it is in German. So either you wait until it's translated as well or you just have a look at the German video and tell me in the comments how much of the German you understood. Anyway, I put a link for you in the upper right corner and I will replace it once the translation is done. Okay, so 400 volts divided by square root of 3 equals 230 volts. So 230 volt for star connection in this case. This is obviously the voltage at each of the coins. And now we are going to have a look at the delta connection. For delta connection we need to use the first value respectively. Hence with the delta connection the nominal face to face voltage is 230 volts. I also put that there for you and now again the question what does this mean for the coil voltage? Well that's actually very easy. At each coil there's going to be the face-to-face -face voltage. So coil voltage equals face voltage equals 230 volts. Now what is remarkable here, in both cases the coil voltage is 230 volts. It seems as if the upper limit of the coil voltage is 230 volts, don't you think so? Let's say it's the maximum coil voltage. So if you want to connect a motor and you wonder whether to connect it in star, in delta or maybe with uh, star delta starting, here's your first step. Determine the maximum coil voltage of this specific motor. Great. Our next step is to look at it in the context of the power supply. German public power supply is three phase AC with phase to phase voltage of 400 volts. For star connection this would result in a coil voltage of 230 volts. And that is the nominal conditions we figured out earlier as you can still see here on the left hand side. And this would obviously be permitted here. 
so I could operate this motor without damaging it in the German public power supply with 400 volts face to face at 50 Hz grid frequency in star connection. But how about delta connection? Well, in delta connection we'd of course still have 400 volts face to face and therefore the coil voltage would be just the same. It would just be 400 volts. And would this be okay? If you listened carefully until now, you might know the solution already. No, of course, it's not permitted. As you can see here on the left hand side, the maximum coil voltage is 230 volts. So that's not going to work. And thus, we cannot apply the star delta starting either, which is the correct answer to the original question. And now I'm very curious, in which country do you live and at which voltage runs your public power supply? How many phases does it have and which frequency does it use? Please leave me a comment below if you want and tell me if the video was useful for you and what you want to know next. Of course, I would also be glad about a thumbs up and if you just tell your friends and colleagues about this channel. Thank you for listening and until next time. Bye bye.